Anytime I ask you what would you like to see, it's mixed media canvas, mixed media canvas, reverse canvas, mixed media canvas, so yes. I'm here <laughs> to make your dreams to come true and we will do some mixed media canvas today. As you can see I have plenty strange things on my desk. I have some canvas of a different size, some chipboards, some metal pieces, <clears throat> I have some stencils, I have some wooden bits and some uh, panels as well. I'm not too sure what and how we're gonna use. I have a little vision, like a tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny. Um, but we shall see how things will go. So grab your bits and pieces and uh, sit down and make some mixed media canvas with me. There'll be loads of techniques, I hope, an interesting, uh, interesting process uh, for you to follow up. So let's do it and let's let's enjoy that. I have my canvases ready here. I'm not too sure which one I'm gonna use for today. I also have this uh, cardboard here, some wooden um, MDF planks. So I'm gonna just put things on top of each other, <laughs> trying to create some sort of composition. Um, because many of you is asking for this, for that, for this, for that, and I thought to somehow maybe incorporate as many ideas of yours as possible. Now, I don't think it's any point of making those two together, that's very too little, so maybe I'm gonna get rid of that, uh, the, the cardboard thing, so not this time, my fella, I'm sorry. Uh, this thing, it's very interesting, it's a chipboard, but it's from a game. Do you know, like, you have a pairs and you flip them and look for pairs, like two doggies, two apples, whichever. A uh, kid's game. I always, always, always from board games keep those elements. So look at them. <laughs> now when you buy a board game, you'll be seeing it in a different perspective. And I thought at first that it's too big, or it would be even interesting that way. But I'm thinking to just squeeze this in here somehow somehow and I thought to maybe do it like that but then hmm, no 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 maybe maybe like this and then what about some chipboards what about something else so basically I'm I'm not too very sure of what I would like this to be most definitely I wish to come up with something that for you will be a wow I never thought about it so I hope you're gonna have a wow factor today including me, I hope I'm gonna have some wow factor as well. I have this beautiful chipboard in pieces because I was using that part from some other project, but that's okay. Don't worry if you don't have it full or whichever. You can play around that. I love this idea somehow and the photo would be nice. I have some photos here, <clears throat> all sorts of photos, which could be nice. That's Emily's photos of course my look how much she changed oh that's even better <laughs> that's her <laughs> so I have them photos I have my grandparents I love that photo it's a very bad quality photo because I print it on my printer and but you know what the coloring the fact that it's not perfect it makes it actually looks vintage more that's me and um, that's it. Oh no, I have one more of Emily and my niece. So I, th those are my favorite photos. I often work with them. Basically, I didn't work on the with the photo for ages. Probably last canvas I've done was with the photo or canvas before that. But I don't, I think that's too small. I don't work with photos recently. I don't know why. Is that my attitude changed my perspective? I have no idea. And you do ask for for canvas with photos or for vintage canvas for a patina rust canvas so I thought you know I could do something about it I think <laughs> I'll try anyway um, maybe we're gonna skip the photo completely I, I don't know but now even the fact the moment I'm choosing the photo it's important because the patina and rust effect probably would look gorgeous with this brown sepia uh, sepia uh, photo then also, it would ni look nice with the black and white vintage with my grandparents. So, you know, you have to look. So, I don't really think that this in rust color and patina color would look good. It's it's not black and white. It's 
it's a baby and it's you know it's it should be cutesy with the flowers and stuff so you know when you look at your photos plan of your project think for the color think for elements you will wish you will you use and think for if this will work or not because this could be sometimes a reason bad choice of a photo then with the embellishments and color it just does not add up you know i hope that makes some bit of a sense so we end up with five photos now in hand I'm not too sure this is, I think, too small, uh, and I think <laughs> I'm super cute here, but I, I don't think I'm very fan of that photo. So we end up with, again, three beautiful photos, and Emily always, as well. you know what, I think I'm gonna probably, I don't know, one of those, or my grandparents, no, one of her, I think. Mm, I think I'm gonna stick with this sort of composition it can change in a minute so what I'm gonna do is uh, those two elements this chipboard plus my uh, photo I'm gonna put aside I'm not gonna use it now because it will be difficult to reach my elements here on the canvas under it so I'm gonna uh, glue the pieces together first and then I'm gonna start painting I may add uh, those cogs I like them very much as far as I know well um, Rain sent me them over. Let me see if I can. <clears throat> I think they were from Michael's. I think so. I do think they were from Michael's. 90 pieces here. Uh, less pieces here, but bigger size. But 90 here. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick those uh, elements now. To to stick my uh, to stick my elements, I'm gonna use gel medium. Of course, you can try and use other glues as you have. I suppose it depends whether you want your uh, project to be forever lasting or you just playing around. Gel medium is something that will hold your pieces the best for the longest. <clears throat> Hot glue gun it's something that may chip and just pieces may not stay for long especially if they are hard pieces like metal to metal uh, not paper. Paper it's fine. Paper to paper, paper is fine. Cardboard should be fine as well most of the time. <clears throat> but to be sure and to to know that yeah this will last for whatever and my work won't be damaged I would imagine to use gel medium at least. Um, it doesn't matter uh, it doesn't matter if it's gonna be mm, gel medium that is glossy or matte so I'm just working now on my on my canvas and to create my uh, the side for my composition right now <clears throat> those are not expensive canvas I got them in pound store the expensive professional canvas are too expensive for me to use on mixed media pieces to be honest probably for if you uh, acrylic painter, oil painter, you would probably go for a beautiful, uh, proper, stunning canvases. I, I don't use those, I just use as most other people, just the cheaper version of canvas, which for projects like that works fine. So don't have to spend 15 euro per canvas, you can spend let's say 350 or 3 euro for 3 canvases or 150 for bigger like that, you know, things like that, 2 euro, it depends if you're lucky to buy it uh, somewhere or you're not lucky. I'm not too sure if I should attach <clears throat> this, let me look at it again, if it's gonna be something like that. <clears throat> We definitely have to look for something here. Whatever that's gonna be, we're gonna have to find some solution for that because it could be maybe this. Because it, uh, unless, unless two seconds, I go for like that way and have some flowers here. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, the moment that I'm gonna stop sniffing and I'm gonna stop <coughs> doing like this with my voice, you will be like. <gasps> Something has changed. Marta is no longer with the tissue and sneezing and feeling sicky. <laughs> You'd be surprised when this will happen because you're so used to the past months that I'm sniffing and I'm, I'm, my nose is blocked and all that. It'd be shocked. It'd be shocked that, oh, it's gone. <laughs> she doesn't sniff anymore. Okay. Okay, friends. I do love the idea. I do like that idea, actually. 
I don't know. I do like that idea. We could. I have beautiful chippies here. They are that's the attic chipboards. We could have work around those and come come up with other ways of finishing that. We could have some. Let me see some flowers here. Something we can work around. So you know what? Um. And what about this one? Is this needed here? I think so. I think so. I I I I do believe it's it would be nice to have it. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna attach it there. It's a, a MDF plank. It's coming from a set of different planks I got uh, some time ago, and it should be used as said, but I don't. So you look at things differently as well. You can sometimes disconnect your set and basically use it however you wish. So not necessarily always. I purposely left them because I do like them. I don't mind them being here. <clears throat> so sometimes it's nice to look at things differently because, you know, it just it could be interesting. Now, the big question is how we're going to color it. Whether we're going to spray it, paint it, whether we do some patina effects. What would we do? Let me have a think about it because I think she looks very much vintagey. Patina would work really nice, I think, with her. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint my canvas black now, prepare everything, and then I'm gonna do some bit of stenciling. Uh, so I'm gonna do it black off camera because, you know, guys, it will take ages by the time I cover everything. I'll start with you, but I finish off camera, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna cover everything with my black gesso. Now, if you don't have black gesso, but you have a black acrylic paint, you may as well try and use that, especially if you're starting up with mixed media. Of course, you don't own every single tool yet. You will get there because we are getting there slowly <laughs> with our collections of products that we gather every week. Uh, but yes, try to use what you have around your house instead of stressing yourself that you don't have the particular material I'm using. As you can see I'm trying to show you the use of different sorts of products like um, leftovers from a game, maybe some wooden plank, maybe instead of plank you wish to use cardboard like that or maybe some wooden bits. You know you can think uh, I'm giving you kind of guidelines of an idea but you should feel free to use your own imagination with the products that you have around basically so try to look what you have around and as I said if you don't have the black gesso you may as well just try your hand on the black acrylic I'm gonna come back to you when everything is painted and dry mm, my canvas is uh, black nearly fully covered we have some bits and pieces not covered but that's okay because uh, I will be adding different colors I'm gonna play on now with the stencil and instead of modeling paste I'm gonna use something that it's called dispersion putty filling small cracks and cavities I've used it as modeling paste and it does work and this one is from Lidl so this is from DIY home store place um, and it works perfect as modeling paste. So what I'm gonna do now, I am gonna put it somewhere on the piece of paper or on my actual cardboard. This is probably the only minus of that, that you can't scrape it from the jar and it could be basically easier, but that's okay. Uh, this is my stencil by the way, if you didn't know I had few stencil designs uh, in the past months. You can find them on my Etsy store and if you wish, no, uh, mm, mm, could be difficult, <laughs> that's okay, we manage, we will manage, don't worry, oh no, that's okay, we do it again. I was looking on different direction rather than where I should be looking. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, I like that. I love that it's very thick, very dimensional. So that's that's good for me. I don't want this to be 
super perfect and I don't want the design to be that extremely perfect no quite opposite actually so I'm gonna go around <clears throat> and place some paste here mm -hmm. I like that modeling paste it works really really well I have to say Mm -hmm. I'm just touching right now oh you can't see sorry <laughs> that's okay I'm just touching so I'm not really going too much just here and there just touching I'm gonna scrape the rest of my paste now from here maybe I need a little more so I'm gonna put it there and I will finish off. Mm -hmm. Now, I do remember when I was at the very beginning of my journey with creating a texture and I was so worried that my modeling paste is just not perfect or that it's things are sticking. Ah, oh, I remember how stressed I was. So don't be. It's okay. It doesn't have to be, if it's your texture, if it's your background, if it's your interest, the, the less perfect in my eyes, the better, because it just looks too good, too equal, too, just, I, I prefer that it's more, more or less uh, kind of all over the place and just, it's, it's not that we will see it as the perfect, uh, shape and addition we will be thinking how is this done actually so when it's not perfect it's more difficult to guess how things are done I'm gonna wash that wait for this to dry and I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to you actually before this will dry I'm gonna grab my as I was thinking grab my metal cocks and I will try to place them somewhere here and there here and there so I will use a touch of a oh, touch of uh, of gel medium but also I'm gonna attach it where my modeling paste is so that way uh, it will be double the double the thickness <laughs> if I can say double the double the joy okay I'm gonna just randomly kind of place it I don't know uh, just here and there just a little bit just a little bit for a different extra interest and just something else mm-hmm super more maybe one more so a little bit of gel medium and then stick it to where my uh, where my modeling paste is basically where else could we add that we could definitely add it somewhere here. I'm gonna take off, take away the ex excess from my from my gel medium. <clears throat> I don't want this to be too much, but I was thinking that you were asking me for steampunk, <laughs> for steampunk project, for vintage one, for canvas, mixed media, and patina. So I'm gonna try to somehow incorporate all of that in here. <laughs> We will see how we, how it's gonna be. Okay, I'm happy with those few elements only, so I'm gonna dry this now. Um, sorry, I lied. <laughs> the bigger one as well I wish to add, so I'm gonna add some gel medium on the bigger one. From the, the other box, I forgot it's here. <laughs> so maybe somewhere here would be nice. Mm -hmm. And maybe somewhere there why not I'm all off the camera each time I'm doing the gel medium thing am I I think I am sorry 
sometimes like I'm so used to recording the videos and the position and all but sometimes <laughs> I'm off center or off something and it's just I don't know <laughs> that's how it is now probably the part of the photo will cover that maybe the chipboard will cover I don't know but I can't know that until I love them look at those all sorts of uh, they all different wow the cogs wow uh, so I don't I can't predict now so I'm not gonna be stressed over that if the partial is gonna be covered that's fine with me oh I think I'm gonna stick this one under there I think I do think so I think it will be nice oh I'm off again camera sorry <laughs> oh Marta 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 that's it that's so nice. I like that. I, I'm gonna keep those. And definitely let's dry this. My canvas is dry and I'm gonna add some uh, hot glue <laughs> 3D kind of uh, how can I say like just elements made from hot glue and my glue gun it's, it's very hot right now. I'm adding this to kind of just add the extra interest and this is a great embellishment with no cost much because most of us crafters we own glue gun <laughs> so um, I'm sure you're able to you are able to create uh, some 3D elements right now with me. Okay, that's what we have. I like that. Now, again, if they are not super even, that's okay. Don't worry. I think I need more glue, which is here. Take your time with it. They will, they should round nicely. So they with the oh oops <laughs> let me just grab this one away. Uh, they should stay oh, you can clear it off. Uh, they should with the weight on its on its own they should level themselves so don't try to push anything on top unless you really want to, that's okay. I can't take that but that's okay, I'm gonna leave it. So don't worry about it, it will level itself and they should be nice and roundy but actually <laughs> I have glue everywhere, two seconds, okay. It's harder when it's uh, here when I have things on the sides. Uh, as in walls, so it's harder to manoeuvrate with the glue gun, but it's possible, so take your time and it will work eventually. So I'm I'm just adding it in a few places. I think it would be nice, really nice way to decorate my canvas and to add some not so expensive embellishment we go plus you can add as many as you wish depending how much glue you have sorry <laughs> just it's very sticky today for some strange reason well I had it on for quite some time so maybe that's why I'm gonna show you uh, in, quite closely so you can see when it leveled itself how how nice it looks isn't it so yes we will I think add more if I'm able to <laughs> If I'm able to, because as I said, when you have things on the side, it's not that easy, but I'll try. I'll try. Okay. Ah, won't go away. <laughs> the invisible thread. You don't see it. I see it. <laughs> invisible thread. Okay. And more. And bigger one, maybe. You can always take it away if you don't like it because uh, it it would be easy to take it away. So you can do that as well if you don't really like some some dot. You place it in the wrong spot, or you can always take it away. 
Okay, I like that. I think I'm gonna add them in more of like a corner, corners kind of. Two seconds, let me get rid of <laughs> Can you see? Of course you can't, I'm off camera, of course. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for that okay we have that part done so I'm gonna move I spilled the coffee while I was drying here <laughs> can you see it's a little brown maybe you don't see it <laughs> but I did spill a coffee of course oh sorry that's my mom on Skype sorry <laughs> mm, that was my mom I tell you why this is kapusta kishona which means it's a cabbage that it's very sour and today food is a fish and a traditional kind of uh, thing uh, side salad is made from that for in Poland so I wanted to ask her how she does it and so she didn't answer it so she rang me back and of course you will say why would you bother to your mother to ring and ask her for a silly salad whatever uh, when you have the internet and I tell you I am doing it purposely because um, when you're abroad you don't see your parents that often and the way that I wish to keep in touch with my mom and dad is to share everyday life with them and plus I think when you do that when you ring your parents for anything it doesn't matter what it is they just feel needed and I think it's beautiful that they can still feel needed uh, even though there is internet there is million other ways of uh, dealing with life and not necessarily you don't need your parents to be there but I'm very attached with my parents very connected with my parents um, so yeah I that's why my mom rang me back <laughs> so I could ask her I know it sounds super silly but that's how I that's how I like live always I'm 12 years abroad and I just I just cherish the fact that I can talk to my parents no matter what I can ask my mom how she's doing dumplings or I ask her how to make my soup thicker or my sauce or simple things and she always says to me <laughs> she always laugh at me that as she's she's asking till what age will you be ringing me and asking and I always says always till till always till I'm able and till you wish to answer so you know I think it's beautiful when we have a good relationship with parents and I think I have a good one and I, I cherish that and being so far from them it's just yeah at least I can do is ring them isn't it and just ask them how they are and how to do the the cabbage <laughs> <laughs> okay, let this to dry guys and everything when it's dry 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 we will do the black gesso on top of that. I started covering my canvas, my elements with black gesso. My glue gun is dry, my modeling paste filler thing from hardware store <laughs> is dry so I'm happy to cover everything now and prepare everything for next layer of color. My canvas is dry and it's black and I have quite a nice number of different elements uh, to create my texture. My next step would be to use patina effect uh, set. Um, I'm sure many of you own this set. I'm sure many of you d don't. Um, is there any other way to create a patina effect without buying patina products? Yes. Uh, would you like me to show you the tutorial how to do patina pastes, homemade patina pastes? If you would uh, like to see something like that, please definitely let me know. I do know that not many of you owns the uh, owns the set. Many does because you were asking me for a tutorial on it so yeah so let me know your thoughts about it i'm trying to make sure that i don't have too much paint paste uh, pa paste paint on my uh, brush and i'm starting off very gently very delicate with my brush on top of my canvas right now 
and I'm just dry gessoing kind of with the gold color basically. This is uh, this color is called brass, so it's like a brass color. You can try and look for <clears throat> metal um, for a metal uh, metallic paints that you may have. May have so have a look <clears throat> what you own before going and jumping in. There are ways to create those two because this is just a metallic paste. This is a textury, uh, textury paste. So there are ways to 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 create that, including uh, texture powder or sand and stuff like that. Let me know if you would like to see how to do homemade patina paste. Uh, yeah, I can try and do a tutorial for for you if you would like that. I have to say I haven't used this for ages and it's nice to work on something different. You were asking me for this particular um, techniques so here I am. <laughs> yes, you said patina or vintage or all sorts of um, um, or maybe as well the rusty effect look so we shall see what we're gonna have here <laughs> when we're done when we finished so I like that I love 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 that what I see can you see I'm sure you can so I don't want too much on my too much paint and I'm using the backing of the packaging um, I'm gonna move my yum biscuit look at that biscuit mm -hmm -hmm gonna move that because I, I want you to be sure that you see it perfectly everything those uh, this set is from Prima from Finavar if any of you is by the way looking to buy and it comes in three package of three in the package like that I think as far as I remember I think they are in Michaels now <clears throat> so we can have a look. There are bigger sets now available as well if you're into patina. So you can buy a bigger jars. I have the small jars. But if you're not into patina, you don't need the big jars. The small one will be absolutely enough, more than enough. So what do you think so far? So good, I think, isn't it? Now, let me grab my... Oops, I just grabbed my... <laughs> I just grabbed the, the heating tool. Let me grab this just to see. Two seconds because I put it away. Just to see how this could be. Hmm. Yes, I'm not, I'm not. I love it. But I don't know what else we're going to do. We will see. We will see. For now I'm going to leave it as it is. And I'm going to keep on painting. Adding the color detail on my project now. So I'm trying to highlight, as you can see, especially the elements that were nicely add added as the texture. Uh, so the so the uh, the glue gun, the glue gun uh, dots, and you can see how texture paste is also nicely standing out. And as I said. You don't have to worry about your texture paste being amazingly perfect. Quite opposite to it. So, well, no, it it doesn't matter. It's just I wish you to understand not to worry about perfectionist or not perfect. Because I used to worry. I really was. I was like, oh, this should be more perfect. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be. Who said to you it has to be perfect? So, uh, don't don't. Don't whoops, don't worry about it. The photo will go there anyway, so <laughs> okay. I don't see anything there, but I'm gonna grab some paint and go over here and there somewhere. I think I'm pretty much done here. I will do sides as well a little bit, which are just not too much, just you know, just a touch really touch as you can see I wish you to see I'm not adding too much paint I'm not pushing too much paint on my brush I am basically trying to be quite delicate with my paint so it's there but not too much and so for the whole project on my brush it's not too much product don't stick too much product because then it's gonna be harder 
for you to paint. You're gonna have blobs of color like now. Oh, there you go. So, of course you can work around it, that's fine. But you can try and add less. So let's try this beautiful brassy effect and let's add some um, blue and green paste now. Okay, so I'm gonna open my two little jars. One is, they both like pumis. Um, this one is more, the green one than the blue one. So we're gonna try and make a mix of both. Oh no. <gasps> Oops. Yeah, I turned it off. Uh, it got hardened very much, so I took took away the hard bit. I did, but I didn't open it for a few months. So watch your watch your jars. You see, this is what happens when you don't use your products. They may get old. They may get moldy. They may dry. This one is uh, it's fine. I think it should be fine. It just dried out a bit, even though it was closed. But you know. It's not that old either, but you have to have a look at your own one. So I mixed it now, and it should be it should be pretty much okay. I'm gonna do same thing with the blue one, but I think the blue one is no. I'm not gonna mix that, so I will take a clean. Uh, two seconds, a clean. Uh, yeah, it also it's not that bad because it's less pumice, so maybe that's why. Anyway, guys. Don't worry about that. <laughs> we'll be fine. So I'm going to use a mix of both colors right now. And I need my cardboard again. Maybe here. Okay, and I'm going to put that back. Put away, make a little... <laughs> clean, clean up a little bit. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to... I will... Just go over now in some places with my green. I don't like. Th can you hear my potatoes? Bloom, bloom, bloom. Now, can you hear it? <laughs> I'm gonna turn it off. I'm sure you can hear that. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do now is I will concentrate on the areas where my beautiful sticking out elements are more. And yeah, and I'm, I'll be back two seconds. I'm going to the kitchen. Yeah, they were my potatoes, and they were they needed to be off. <laughs> you know, I'm lucky that Lucas likes mashed potatoes because he has no idea that I keep on forgetting when I'm cooking and I'm going to create, and then potatoes are basically no longer looking as potatoes, so it's easier to mash them basically. So this is my secret, ladies. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is quite quite difficult to use right now. Just as you can see, it's in pieces, but it's manageable. So don't throw it away if if your one got got older like mine. That's okay. Uh, you see that the the texture of it will be even nicer because it's because it's dry and it's like a pumice, like a sandy effect. But yes, I wasn't expecting this to be honest to be uh, so very much um, dry and hard to work with very hard to uh, I'm losing lots of uh, as you can see I'm losing a lot of product in um, like in it's in pieces basically but that's okay I'm gonna try to work around that anyway now it's hard it's hard because it's hard, it's dry, so maybe I'm gonna chance it and I'm gonna spray some water in it and see if it's gonna help. Maybe. Maybe actually it will help guys, so... Mm -hmm. I think it helped, so yeah. Maybe if you have a problem like I did have add some water and it will be slightly better so I'm trying to go on the edges as you can see with my uh, with my color and also not only the edges but also where the um, the dry pieces Ta -da! where the beautiful elements were added like the 
the 3D elements, the sticking out elements. So <clears throat> I'm trying to go there with the with it. So I like that very much. Now another set we may try and mix with it. I don't know yet. I'm gonna have a look now. Another beautiful nice set is the the old set of rust paste. We may mix that together. I'm gonna have a look now and see. Because we're going over on the black gesso, it's not that visible as if you would go over on the white gesso, of course. <clears throat> so it depends what sort of effect you prefer to you prefer to have. I like the the old look, so the black look, sorry. So it's yeah, it's up to you. I'm gonna go over now with the blue one in places. As you can see, I'm trying to go back where the green was added and I'm trying to add it on the on the uh, on my little bulbs 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 <laughs> now it's nice set when it's done and you don't have to deal with it yourself to create the effect so it's nice because the effect will be created because uh, just as it is because it's a nice product let me grab the other set mm, the other set is even older so I would not be surprised if it is actually dry as well and it's my fault because I wasn't using it so I'm gonna grab that orangey one it's pumice as well it's dry there for sure here it doesn't look that bad it's it's a, again quite dry so grab some water and mix that away together there we go mm-hmm Let's see. I'm going to take a different brush actually this time. <clears throat> and I'm going to just try to go into some spaces like in those lines as if the rust appears somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. That looks really nice. I like that. I like that. Not too much. I don't want the project to be orange only and be like completely rusted and no. So be very gentle and think for where would you like to add it. You can see now it looks pretty interesting. Now I'm going to put that here. Interesting color here. Very rusty, very pretty, very natural looking on top of the green one, the bright one. So yeah, you can experiment with all the sorts of products you have in your hand, you know. You don't necessarily have to stick with only what's on the package, what's you can join things, you can mix mix and match them. So I think it looks pretty good to me. I like that. Mhm. Mm I really do like that. Okay. It looks really, really rusty, really real, really natural. That's what I mean. It does look as if, as if we purpose, as if just it's not, it not as if it. La la la. Sorry. Go back. If it, it looks as as if it naturally rusted. So that's nice. That's nice effect, I think. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to go underneath it, kind of, so that way it will be as if this kind of element they did rust. I wonder how the camera is picking up the colors, because I th I see this very foxy, <laughs> very orangey, oh, extremely. I hope it's not that much, because it looks sensational life. It looks sensational life. So I hope that in the camera it's not that bad at all because it looks it, it doesn't look that good as what I see life. 
that's what I'm trying to, <laughs> to say basically okay and you, you can see I'm not dipping my brush anywhere except my 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 pigments I don't water it I don't I don't um, it's dry product basically working on, on on it so and even don't worry if your brush you will uh, really <laughs> um, really kill your brush if I can say the bad word kill you know if you just make it very tired brush we have the brown one as well I'm gonna have a the other brown I'm gonna have it open as well looks pretty dry to me so I'm gonna squeeze squeeze uh, some water and I'm gonna try to find some other wooden stick so I could mix that as well oh that's no that's that doesn't look good to me okay now I'm sure if you really work hard with it it will work more water maybe so have a check your little jars if you didn't use them <clears throat> for quite some time have a try I'm gonna try to grab some color from it at least color if not the texture itself at least the color I like that so I'm gonna try to darken up a little bit so it's not gonna be that foxy looking that much <clears throat> I wonder what's in your mind because I wasn't giving any chance to this project before. Now I'm confident we did pretty nice job on it. Pretty pretty nice job. I like that. I really do like that. <clears throat> mhm. Mm I do like this very much. I'm going to soften a little bit my orangey here just a little bit so it's you can tell that it's a work of uh, you need some time to work with your uh, bros this this will be covered with the photo unfortunately it's a nice piece here that we created that's okay that's okay that's okay maybe another nice piece will appear when the photo comes and we we love something else we see Okay, I love that. Love, 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 love. I'm gonna dry this and I'm gonna add a different color. I'm gonna add a bit of gold maybe. Okay, I do have my, I do have my, some waxes and I have Inca gold as well to see what will I, what will I like more. Um, or for you to see that you can use and ex experiment with other products as well. I think it would be it could be nice if we basically will rub on <coughs> some gold into our uh, special places now can you do same with the Inca gold my one is old as well but it's fine yeah you can uh, maybe this finger is <laughs> easier to work with have a look you can use your Inca gold instead and you could use your Nouveau mousse. Oops, sorry. Nouveau mousses. I don't use it because I have only them in go in silver and blues. I don't have any gold yet. I may have some more soon. But you could use even mousse as your highlighter, basically. Oh, I have this. Let me see. Text type of ink in easing 3D. Let's see um, if this would work. Which finger? <laughs> I'm gonna use maybe my. I'm a left-handed but I'm gonna try so this is more of a consistency of uh, butter uh, so but there you go look it does work so it's not that one product will do the magic for you no I have three different products here they do the magic basically so you can use them it's up to you which one would you like I suppose the waxes are good for the fact that you can use them uh, they they have loads of shades from gold to also look like the shades of of browns and brasses and coppers and stuff so I'm gonna open them of course I love the smell they are really nice smell indeed 
so I'm gonna try and see if my if this would be nice if I mix both or three colors <laughs> or I don't know at least I'm gonna try things here why not why not tell me why not there's no reason for no why not do I prefer the gold both I, I don't know I like I like everything today in this project I have to say I'm pretty co uh, pretty surprised with the effect I like it I'm not very much of a uh, patina person maybe that's why there wasn't many projects done by me in this subject maybe that's why I don't know uh, so but I couldn't wait I couldn't resist your questions and asking asking so that's another color which is oh I love that very much and that color is called white gold now is this our new favorite now yeah it's not that yellow you see ah that's nice I'm gonna overpaint here mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay we have a new favorite here white gold well this is actually <laughs> a little private this is white gold as well my um, my engagement ring so maybe I don't like gold in general I don't wear gold I always wear silver uh, so or white gold that looks like silver so maybe maybe it is in the nature of us isn't it even in the projects but look you can mix so many of them and just enjoy all sorts of color effects and again don't think that this is the only way, this is the only color, this is the only product. No, experiment, have a look, try for yourself. Now, I'm totally loving it, loving it to bits. My uh, next thing would be to think for our chipboard that fell down on my floor. I found it, there we go. Now, I think this chipboard is stunning stunning but I also think it could be let me think <laughs> let me think now um, it is so beautiful I wish this to be gold or 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 brass or something let me put my fl my uh, my photo to see oh I like that I like that the color of the photo does not really kill the color of the um, of the frame and it it will work I can see it now even better um, I'm just thinking maybe I have a different frame that would be fuller not that it's already not cut let me see I think that we have no other option but to use some flowers here just because I don't have a big frame like that plus this one is just so perfect for this project we're gonna improvise I'm gonna cut around here in a minute before that I'm gonna color this frame with my waxes and I found some pretty pretty uh, I'm, I may mix the colors of the waxes I don't know but I found some maybe it will be easier with my probably yes I found some pretty flowers that are you know what I think I'm gonna use both colors I uh, found some oh that would be nice I found some pretty colors of flowers so I may just I may just add those um, yeah at the end of the video I will show you my birdie project let me quickly show you da -da -da, the little tiny birdie um, and I will tell you that I have it available but anyway in a minute so stay tuned till the last moment of the video if you wish to hear about it uh, since many of you were asking so I think I'm gonna stick with this and I will add some flowers maybe we're gonna have to color them a little I don't know let's see just for two seconds now ah perfect let me finish that okay guys so we have our girl my Emily uh, I cut it around just a little bit and we have a frame here let's see let's match this somehow 
<laughs> I like that. Oh my, I'm loving it. I like the depth of the darkness on the the the, the deep here. I like that because this sticking out more. If I would add more of a gold here, rather than leave it very blackish, this wouldn't stand out that much. So it's kind of accident, I have to say. So that's nice. Okay, we have Emily here. Now I'm not gonna. Uh, Co uh, I'm not gonna cover it with any gel medium, but some people wish for it to be very much forever, the picture not fade. Y it depends whether you print it in professional place or at home. There are ways to pr to protect your photo gel medium or um, I heard as well about Mod Podge, so have a try or spray fixative. You could do and try that. I don't do it since I'm using same photo all over uh, and over. I don't display all of my projects, so because I have more than ordinary person would have I, I basically leave it as it is as they are because because I don't I don't really um, display them so that's what I wanted to say so this is what we have right now I like that now I have looked around for some flowers let's see I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna put away now, the waxes, as far as I remember, they should dry permanent. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they do dry permanent. And if that's the case, then that's awesome. That's totally awesome. I do have some bit of uh, too much uh, paste in the grooves and stuff of the chipboard because I was rushing. So, But if you be careful, you have a better effect even. I'm going to just put that away, guys, because it's too much... I feel I have way too much uh, around me and this as well <laughs> okay so this is what we have right now let me just clean my hands as well sorry I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure I'm not gonna dirty my photo as well you know because we wouldn't like that we wouldn't like this now I have this I'm not too convinced it's big but I'm gonna try <clears throat> just to see just to see I love the contrast that we may achieve between the shyness brassy all the vintagey rusty effect in here and just ordinary flowers that could be interesting I think so let's see let's see if I'm right or if I'm wrong Oh, I like that. I'm not too sure about this one, but I do like this one. I found one of those oldie ones. I have some other here. Will any of that color wise match? Not really, not really, no. What about, I do have a set of, set of, I bought old clock watches. No, no point, no sense, just doesn't add up here. Let me find more flowers. Okay, um, I'm gonna add this now, I think. Before, um, something else I wish to tell you. I wish you to see and understand. I don't own an immense photos. I have Emily, so I kind of scrap her, add her photos. And as well, I love the photo to be pretty enough. And I think this is just a nice fit, the way it she looks and the da 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 da. So it's quite important. And also what I wish you to know that up to this moment, this could be for male. If you play more with cogs now, add cogs here and have a boy face and cogs here maybe, uh, or more metal embellishments like that, you don't have to add flowers. You can finish off for a male look because honestly, without this, this could be easily a boy frame, even with the a lovely chipboard like that but I'm sure you can find chipboards which are like what let me see for example I have chipboards here that are more for males uh, shape wise you know they're not that very feminine so or in general some sort of designs that are not that girly so even though I'm showing you a girly version you I wish you to feel confident to try and use them elements use them ideas for a project with a boy basically 
So I added some 3D foam here, not everywhere because I have raised area here so I'm just, and I'm also as always adding a little bit of glue, quite gentle, gently, so this wouldn't, uh, this wouldn't get destroyed. I think something like that could be nice, maybe. And the chipboard as well, I must add this somehow. Somehow I'm thinking how. <laughs> so yes, I do like that very much. Now, this is kind of, it would be nice, oh, if I stick here so it's not gonna bother my, mm-hmm, maybe, 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 like that. Now, uh, this could be just gone. <coughs> mm-hmm. I think I love the fact and the idea of keeping this quite um, <laughs> quite raw with the color without adding any touches of gold. I, I think, I, I don't know, I, when it's finished, finished, I'll see. But I like the contrast look of it as well. Of course, as always, when it comes to attaching and sticking, <laughs> things have changed, the composition have changed. But I'm gonna just attach that and glue this down before I'll change my mind. Okay, so my frame, as you can tell, it's not attached, but I will attach it somehow with the flowers first and then and then I'm gonna be gently playing with my glue in few places and spots to to att attach that. Now, there you go, Emily. You have a beautiful flower in your head yet again. It's not the first time. Oh, this maybe could be nice, just like that. Hmm, maybe. <clears throat> I think so. I think so. I'm gonna just stick that in more. <clears throat> so it wouldn't cover her smile and her beautiful eyes and I'm fan of this photo very much actually okay and this could go just here which is nice now this is nice that could be attached just to kind of maybe get rid of the edge of the photograph I don't know uh, what else I have I have a pretty frame like this here also very brassy, metally looking. Let's see. Sorry for the noise. Let's see if this is any any nice, any good. That's nice. That's interesting. I'm not falling. If I'm not in huge love with it, but you know what? It's it could be add. We could add some title here, and it could be quite interesting. Like title, like what? Or like a flower, one more flower. Let me think. Let me think now. And if not this, in a minute, I have also those pretty brats, which the gold ones most definitely would work nicely. Let me just take them out. Mm -hmm. And again, work your magic, whatever you have around the house, try to find some ways of using your old embellishments, old products. Uh, I can try and make a tutorial for you how to create your own rust paste or patina paste, I can try that. I, I, I didn't do it, but I'm sure there is a way. I've seen something on Pinterest somewhere, so we could try and do it. <laughs> Quite lovely. <laughs> That's a cute title, you know, <laughs> quite lovely, quite lovely, and <laughs> I, did, it, I don't know, it just does suit Emily, quite lovely. I, I'm not sticking yet, I'm just, I'm just out loud thinking, you know. Okay, now I will definitely add the brads, because I love the brads, and I think they will match superly pretty here. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to get rid of those backings, sorry, for being off camera yet again. So I'm gonna just place them maybe in some spots 
just to see. Oh, mm. how different and how nice this could be actually. <laughs> I like that, but no. Uh, no, because I don't like, in general, I'm not fan of things being too very much even. Yes, I am, but I'm not, you know. So I would try to somehow run away from with this idea. I like it there, and I will add it as it is, because it's nice. Oh, I just burned myself a little bit. That's okay. My hot glue, it's not that hot like it should be, but it's not. I'm missing glue. I have no more glue, so I have to add some. This is a hugely, very much long project, I tell I tell you. I was asking you on my Facebook page. Jump in on my Facebook page, Marami Small Art Facebook page. I was asking you what would you like to see, and someone said, it doesn't matter. Long and lots of chats, and as long as you can. <laughs> I was just smiling and I thought, oh, thanks so much. And then hearing another comment saying, please, could you make your videos shorter? So I was smiling yet again that how different we all are, isn't it? Now, this uh, chipboard is because it was cut. I'm going to try to attach it a little bit. So, yes, this video, whether I like it or not, it is long because that there is lots of techniques here, hidden here and there. So, um... So it, it would be very hard to <laughs> to do it differently than... Oh, I like maybe without this frame. Let's just skip that frame. So it would be hard to do it, you know. There we go. That's our answer, I think, for it. It would be... I'm going to repeat myself third time. <laughs> it would be quite hard to do this sort of video shorter. I could speed the process, but nah. Nah, nah, nah. Now use... Please, gel medium, I'm too lazy now. I just want this to be attached quickly because I'm finishing off with you now, guys. Unfortunately, so, but please do you, <laughs> please, you do use on metal embellishments, use a gel medium. Please, please, please. Okay, well, you know what? I can actually just cut it away. <clears throat> um, I think we are nearly there. Oops. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. She has freckles, so sometimes I think that it, I dirtied the picture, but it's actually <laughs> her freckles are there. She doesn't like when I talk about her freckles, but I think she has such a cute freckles. Well, in general, I love freckles, and I love kids, well, everyone with freckles. I think it's cute. But, yeah, this is very personal, and she's like, Mom! Mom! Yeah, she's she loves calling me mom <laughs> sometimes. So I love that. I'm so happy. I'm happy that I've done canvas, as you ask, mixed media, uh, rust paste and patina effect mixed with vintage, a little bit of steampunk, uh, with some long chatty technique video with a picture, uh, with a photograph. Now imagine this, if not the frame, you could do everything on top of the paper. If you wished for a scrapbook page, you don't have to use the base as your, as your canvas, you can basically use your paper, two papers together. Are you asking me for a new project, new layout, uh, 12 by 12? I promise I'll do that. Sometime I will. I haven't done it for, I'm guessing, nearly two years. Would that be possible? I think it's possible it could be two years. So I think I'll do that for you guys. Not now, because now it's Christmas, we're heading towards Christmas, so it will be super awesome to do some Christmas inspirations first. So I'll do that. Uh, but yes, I'll try to do, if I come up with some nice idea, I will definitely share that with you. And yes, I promise you some scrapbook page, because I didn't do it for long, and yeah, some refreshment could be definitely nice. I will also add the small one which is it's hard to, to do that but I'll try. I think it meant to be there. There we go. So I'm adding glue on the ends of that and when I'm gonna stick it it will be just touching the 
the uh, chipboard itself. Maybe... Come on, Marta, quickly! <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know. Oh no, I don't know. Okay. Is it dry? Is it too late? It's nearly too late. It is. <laughs> okay, go back, Marta. Grab your beautiful bra gra brass, not brass. Brads, Bradzilla. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Where was it? Uh, I don't know. Can't remember. I I just do it here. Okay. Ah, oh, and voila! Quite lovely. <laughs> oh, and we did it, guys. And we did it. Um, stay for more info about the birdie in a second. But I'm just gonna finish and wrap up the 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 project first. I'm loving it. Truly, uh, truly loving it. Enjoyed every single moment. But I wasn't too sure at the first place when I was just adding those random canvas on canvas and the idea of working with a photo and dirty work around. Oh, I wasn't too sure but you know what we did it. I hope it was something you were waiting for and I hope it was inspirational and that you will find some um, ideas handy and needed for you maybe some answers that you are waiting for as always thank you so much for watching and as always please do let me know what you think now quickly about the birdie I have two birdies actually here one is uh, one was from live class one was from online class I'm offering currently online class with a kit I'll show you a kit um, let me put this away uh -huh. Gorgeous birdie. <clears throat> the kit is here. I can't. I can't. The bird. You can see the birdie. <laughs> I can't show you what's inside because that will spoil the surprise. So, basically, you will receive in the kit. You will receive every single item needed to create this beauty. This tiny. Uh, it's called Tiny Freedom. It, it's available on my uh, Etsy store. There was some uh, some new classes added because we sold out in the first day or two. So I added a few more. If you wish to have a look and head off there and see whether it's something of your interest. So you would receive the e-course, the online video that you could do in your own time whenever you wish with the kit that I will send all over the world. Anywhere you are, I'm going to uh, send it to you, ship it to you. Uh, so have a look, please, yourself and you maybe finish off. We have lots of students right now in the group, so you would join the group and uh, share the uh, share the passion for mixed media and share your experience with the class. So uh, if you're interested, head off to my Etsy store. I'll give you links below. Marry Miss Small Art Etsy. If you Google it, you'll find it. But of course, I'll give you a link below. There is a little surprise. There's more surprises. And basically, there is a lot of things, but everything from mediums to gels to gessos, everything is here in the parcel for you to create this this piece and let me just lastly show you Emily <laughs> and just uh, let me just thank you quickly because the video is <laughs> it's very long I can tell thank you so much for your time as always watching for suggesting my future videos you've left me so many ideas I made a list of 50 at least that no that was a 50 so I'm trying to tick off tick off tick off now videos that you wish to see because you know I'm here for you so thank you so much I do love you loads I, I cannot wait to hear your opinion and what you think about this uh, project so please do let me know and I'll chat to you super soon bye bye bye